Good morning. How's everybody doing? All right. If you can go ahead and take your seats, we'll go ahead and get started. I appreciate our, uh, our media partners being here. Uh, obviously, making an announcement of this magnitude during a pandemic uh, is a little bit different, but nonetheless, uh, very, very excited to be here. Uh, we've got some special guests with us. Uh, I'll acknowledge a few of them, but I do want to acknowledge that uh, one of our VIPs is not with us. Uh, that's Dr. Guy Bailey. Uh, he was under the weather this morning. Uh, I know he feels, uh, feels terrible, Coach, that he couldn't be here, but he sends his best. Uh, but we do have Dr. Kelly Nassour, uh, who's going to speak on his behalf. So thank you for being here, Kelly. Uh, we also have Dr. Sale. Where's Paul Sale? There he is. I think we need to give a round of applause for Dr. Sale. He is key to our academic success, serving as our faculty athletic rep. Uh, Doc, always good to see you. Uh, and there will be some other guests that will come in, our coaches, our colleagues, uh, everybody from the athletics department. Thank you. Uh, but before I, I turn it over to Dr. Nassour, I, I want to share a few words. And, uh, and I want to acknowledge our young men that are here. Uh, the, you guys are the reason why we're here this morning. And, and what you guys have been through, what you've stood for, uh, being on this journey with you, on February the 7th, our world was rocked. And the way that you guys have handled this is truly unbelievable. And I think these young men deserve a round of applause. I want to thank the community. I want to thank our university family. Uh, I want to thank uh, everybody in the Rio Grande Valley that loved on us uh, during these challenging times, uh, not just with our coaches, our student athletes, our staff, uh, but what each and every one of you did uh, for Coach Hill's family, for Renee and their children, uh, truly remarkable. And I will forever be indebted to you. This university will forever be indebted to you. Uh, and we're very appreciative of all the love and support uh, that you've given us. Uh, to Coach Jay Stedman and the coaching staff, uh, stepping up to serve as our interim head coach, helping lead our young men spiritually, emotionally, and physically uh, during some of the toughest times that we'll ever face. I appreciate it. The brotherhood that this group has is special. This 2020-2021 UTRGV men's basketball team uh, is special. And this is a brotherhood that's going to last a lifetime. Uh, and so to the community again, we thank you. Uh, we thank you for loving us and supporting us. And it's because of these young men, Coach Hill's vision, his commitment, his belief in UTRGV, that we stand here today in a different position than we were five years ago to the day. And it's because of that vision that he shared with us that we're in a position to make a statement higher in Coach Matt Figger. And so, young men, I appreciate you guys, to our coaches and everybody that's come before us. This is an exciting day. So with that being said, and before we officially announce Coach, uh, I'll invite up Kelly Nassour, our Executive Vice President for Institutional Advancement, to say a few words, and then I'll be back to the podium. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. First and foremost, on behalf of President Guy Bailey and all of UTRGV students, faculty, and staff, I would like to welcome Coach Figger, or Coach Fig, and his wife Katrina and their son Vince to the Rio Grande Valley. We are so happy that you are joining the Vaquettos family. And please know if you need anything at all, we are here to help you. You will soon find out that family means everything in the Valley, and all of you are now members of our Vaquero family. I'd like to share a little bit about this hiring and how important it was for us to find a coach who could lead a successful team in the classroom and on the basketball court, and also someone who could guide us through a tough transition. It's not easy replacing a coach like Lou Hill, who left an incredible legacy at UTRGB. However, we are confident that Coach Fig can build on the successful foundation laid by Coach Hill and his very capable staff. When we hired Vice President and Athletics Director Chase Conk a year and a half ago, he developed the slogan, Rally the Valley, as a way of using athletics to bring our region together. Another thrilling NCAA tournament last, wrapped up last night, and we witnessed over the last three weeks what a successful basketball program can do to put a university on the map and unite a fan base. That's what we want for UTRGV, 
and Coach Fig is certainly experienced enough to get the job done. He has been a college basketball coach for almost 30 years and served as an assistant coach for one of the top head coaches in college basketball, Frank Martin, at both Kansas State and South Carolina. He was on the coaching staff that helped guide South Carolina to the Final Four in 2017. Most recently, Coach Figger served as the head coach of a Division I, Austin P, and was named the Ohio Valley Conference Coach of the Year in 2018. Coach Figg is excited to be here, and he is looking forward to being an active member of our community. For making all of this possible, I have to thank Chase Conk and his staff for their tireless work to make this hire a reality. Thank you, Chase. Our athletics department is quickly becoming a desired destination for some of the top talent in the country. The future is bright at our university and our athletics department, and I look forward to rallying the Valley in the years to come. On behalf of President Guy Bailey, UTRGV, and the entire Rio Grande Valley, I want to welcome you, Coach Figger, Katrina, and Vince. Welcome home. All right, now to officially uh, welcome Coach. I know you didn't come here to listen to us, but wanted to hear uh, wanted to hear from Coach Fig. So we'll get to that uh, here in just a second. Uh, but I want to uh, I want to brag on. Um, on coach and his accomplishments, uh, what, what he has done in his career, who he is as a person. You know, when you go through a process like this, uh, this search was intense. Uh, it required 100% focus. Uh, it, took, uh, it took an enormous amount of time, but we knew that we wanted to move quickly and efficiently. I met with these young men uh, the Saturday after we got back from Las Vegas uh, from our conference tournament, and I told them I needed 16 days. Uh, and usually I don't back myself in a corner like that. Uh, but we, uh, I think we got it done in, what, 14, 15 days? Is that right, fellas? Uh, so we knew we wanted to move quick, but we needed to find the right fit. We needed to find the perfect person uh, to help us start a new chapter for UTRGV basketball. What we have in Coach Figure is simple. He's a winner. Uh, he does it the right way. He cares about people. He cares about relationships. Uh, he cares about community. He's a family man. And he's worked with some of the best in the country, and Kelly mentioned that earlier with his time with Frank Martin at South Carolina. Uh, he's seen it at the grinder level, 10 years at the junior college level, uh, stop at Odessa Junior College for a couple of years, and i tell you something that stood out about Coach when I asked him why, you know, why UTRGV? And he said the hardest move that you ever made was, uh, was leaving Odessa, Texas. And I don't think you were making a really big uh, fat paycheck at that point, Coach, right? But he loves the state of Texas, and so that stood out to us. But 10 years at the junior college level, he's a grinder. Uh, but he's also coached with some of the best, with and for the best in the business. South Alabama, Kansas State, uh, associate head coach at South Carolina, helping that program make an unprecedented run uh, to the Final Four in 2017. And then for us to be able to attract a sitting Division I, successful sitting Division I head coach to UTRGV is a testament about where we are as a program, where we are as an institution, and where we are as a region, and that the Rio Grande Valley is a desirable place to live, to raise a family, and to work. And so when we knew we had a chance to get Coach Figure to the Valley, we jumped. Over the last week or so, I've received so many text messages, calls, emails from colleagues and coaches around the country uh, congratulating us on this hire. And that just affirmed with Dr. Bailey and myself that we had made the right decision and that we, we knew we found the right guy for the job. Uh, and Matt Figger. He cares a lot about community. Year after year at Austin P, uh, his student athletes gave back. Uh, he talks about being a giver. That's something that's very important to coach, being a giver. Not just him personally, but teaching his young men to do the same thing. Uh, that's something he'll instill in our program and continue that tradition of giving back to the community. Academics. This is remarkable, Dr. Sale. Semester after semester, over a 3.3 GPA for his teams. And I think that even topped it maybe a 3.5 uh, over the last year or so. And then you look on the court. You look at the turnaround that he led at Austin P. You look at four consecutive winning seasons. You look at becoming, uh, in his first year, the OVC, which is a very, very good basketball league. 
OVC Coach of the Year uh, in just his first season. All of those things make us feel very, very good that Coach Mac Figger is the right guy for the job. Uh, so at this time, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the podium the next head men's basketball coach of your UTRGV Vaqueros, Coach Matt Figger. And I'd be remiss if I didn't also echo Kelly's comments, Katrina and Vince. We're so glad to have you guys here in the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, you will learn that this is a very special place. The people here will love you. And uh, like I told my wife, they will love that southern accent that you bring to the valley. So Vince, <laughs> Katrina, we welcome you guys as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Figger. Chase, uh, thank you for having me up here. Um, it's a it's a special day for me, and uh, you know I'm, I may get up here and start rambling a little bit, but uh, it's a it's a special day to come when I when I feel like I'm coming home, uh, coming back to Texas. Like Chase said, um, in 2002, the hardest thing I had to do was pack up a, a pickup truck and, and and leave the state of Texas. Well, uh, fast forward 19 years, and I'm back. So um, I'm I'm extremely excited to be here. Um, there's a lot of people I need to thank. First, we need to thank our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for all of us here. Um, I want to thank my family, my wife, Katrina, uh, who is my supporter, my head coach. Uh, if you guys want to know who the better of the two head coaches is, it's, it's definitely her. And my son, Vince, who, uh, who is going to be your guys' biggest fan, and he will look up to each and every one of you as a role model. You guys will not believe that... Every single day, he'll be YouTubing everyone. He's already YouTubed your guys' highlights. So when, when, when you guys understand, he's going to be the type that's in this room talking about you guys and imitating you guys, and he'll imitate every one of your moves. And at some point in time, I'll have him imitate each and every one of your go-to moves. So um, he's going to be your biggest fan. Uh, I'd like to thank Dr. Bailey. Um, I, I hit it off with Dr. Bailey from the word go. Um, when he told me he was from L.A., I knew what that meant. He said, you know, being from L.A., you've got to get the, uh, the gist to it. That means lower Alabama. So uh, we, we were uh, in, in L.A. for five years. That's how I got to meet my, my beautiful wife was being in Mobile, Alabama. So um, I got to gist with him. So we hit it off great, and, and, and I seen his vision. And the one thing is, is that for, for my point of view with Dr. Bailey is, Here's a man who, who was the president at probably the most powerful university in the United States at the University of Alabama, and now he's here. And so he has a vision of what things should look like. And then um, I really want to thank, thank Chase Conk for, for hiring me and believing in me because from day one when he and I started talking about this job, um, he sold me that this was the right place for me to be. And this is a hidden gem. Uh, it truly is. You guys don't know how lucky you are to be here, be a part of this basketball team, because you guys are the foundation that, that has helped take this program and start turning it to another level. So you guys need to be proud of what you've done and what you've accomplished. Um, the one thing I do want to say is, is Lou Hill uh, was a great man. Uh, Lou is a guy who I always considered my friend, and we would joke on the road in recruiting. And uh, whether he was at UNLV or, or, or Oklahoma or here, you know, every time I seen him, you know, Lou never had a bad day. Always had a smile on his face. Uh, always happy. And, you know, this is my plan is, is we're going to honor Coach Hill. Next season, every game we play, every, every time we lace up our shoes and we take the court, because you're going to have 30 to 31 opportunities to play. That's all you have guaranteed as a player. Every one of those games that you take that court and you, you get on the floor, you're going to be honoring one man. And he will be there with us 
in the locker room, on this court, on the bench, hopefully in, when the game gets hard, giving me some suggestions to, to help us win a game. So this season is going to be dedicated to Coach Lou Hill. So I want to, I want to make that a, a proclamation right now that we're going, to, we're going to fight our tails off and represent him the right way. So um, I'm very appreciative of what he has built to this point. Um, but now it's time to get to work. It's time to get to work, man. It, it, is, it is time. You know, I love the catchphrase, rally the valley. You know, we, we are going to rally the valley. We're going to put people in this, in this building. We're going to give them an ex exciting style of play. We're going to make things fun. We're going to have a lot of people in here cheering for you guys, and we're going to make this the hardest place in this conference to play at. Every team that comes here and plays is going to know that they've, they've been challenged because this place is going to be full of people. I guarantee it. We're going, to, we're going to get out in the community, and we're going to sell this program. But we're not only going to rally the valley, we're going to rock the valley. And, and, you know, I, we're going to make this place uh, take it to the next level. And, we'll go, and I came here to compete for conference titles. And um, I haven't been back to the NCAA tournament since 2017. So I am uh, I'm itching to get back to that tournament, fellas. It's the most unbelievable thing that any of you guys will ever experience in your life. And I truly want this each and every year that I get out here and coach you guys to have that taste, you guys seen it last night at the end of the at the end of the national championship game. You get to see that one shiny moment moment video. Well, I want you guys to experience that one shiny moment. So uh, we're not only going to rally the valley, we're going to we're going to rock the valley, and we're going to attack the whack. We're coming after everybody. Um, we're not going to back down from no one. We are coming to play. We're going to play hard. You know, coaches get up here and they start rallying with the cliches we're going to play fast we're going to do this we're going to do that here's what we're going to do we're going to be everyday dudes and what i mean by that is that we're going to be the same guy on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday we're going to attack the day um we're going to be everyday dudes because if you're an everyday dude winning takes care of itself if you if you put your heart soul and effort in what you do winning takes care of itself we don't have to look for no um, miracle or, or luck. We're going we're gonna to win because we're going to be prepared. So um, I want you guys to understand the work is getting ready to start. Uh, as soon as all this is done, the work starts. And, and, and we're going to really get after it. And we're going to play hard. Um, my job as a coach, teacher, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a mentorship. It's about giving. It's about uh, helping young men become grown men. And I like to tell all my guys this. It is a situation where you gotta be a giver. Like my son, he's, he's the best, but he, but he wants. As a grown man, it's time, you gotta learn how to give. And that's what, that's what my job is to help you guys learn how to be givers and not takers. And we're gonna give back to the community. We're gonna get out in the community. Everybody's gonna know who we are. And, and we're going to be the type of people that everybody here on this campus is going to be very proud of. We're going to do the community services. We're going to, we're going to impact uh, young people. You know, you guys are role models. Like I said, my son, uh, if I can't take my son into the locker room and my son can't emulate you, then I don't want you to be a part of this team. So understand, you're going to be a role model. And all these little kids, you're going to touch in some way, shape, form, or another. So whatever you do, remember that. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close in saying this. I am home, and I am extremely proud to be a Vaquero. V's up. All right, to our uh, media partners, I think, uh, Jonah, we've got a microphone. Is that correct? So if you have any questions for uh, Coach or myself, uh, now's the time. I hope I don't look goofy in this hat. I'm not a hat person, so. Hey, Coach, how are you? My name is Erica Ross. I'm from Channel 5. Um, we had a quick question and just wanted to know um, 
It's been rare that this program has brought in a head coach who is a sitting Division One coach elsewhere in the country. What did this say about the program and the whack that UTRGV was able to bring you uh, onto this program? Well, that, that what I think about this program, uh, being able to come here as a sitting head coach, the foundation that was laid five years ago when Coach Hill was 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 hired was started, and so with with uh, Chase Con joining board as athletic director he has a vision and a plan and this place is a hidden gem and you know a lot of programs are going in certain directions well this program is on the rise people are going to know where UTRGV is and I, I want to be a part of that future and I want to be a, a, a person who helps establish a foundation and a history for years to come so um, this, is a, this is a ball of clay, and we can make this whatever we want to make this into. And, and I'm excited about that, and that's why I chose to come here. Um, one more question. What are your thoughts on rebuilding this team in a strange year with so many players around the country in the transfer portal uh, because of the free year with eligibility and the ability to transfer without penalty? Can you repeat that? I, I heard something about transfer portals and all that. Um, your thoughts on rebuilding this team in a strange year with so many players around the country in the transfer portal because of the free year of eligibility and the ability to transfer without penalty? Well, well what excites me about this team is that there is a lot of guys that, uh, that can come back. So there's a good nucleus of base of this team. Understand this team was, was at one point in time nine and four. And so there was a lot of winning that was getting ready to take place. They, they were ready to turn the corner. So there's t plenty of talent here. Um, we just got to get together and sit down and figure out, you know, what's right for our team, what our needs are going to be. Uh, we, we are going to turn over every rock to look for uh, guys to come in and help this team, to help us win, to help us compete for a WAC title. Um, you know, the world is big. And now because of social media and the Internet, the world is small. So we're going to recruit worldwide. We're going to bring in uh, players from all over the place. Uh, I'm sure they're going to come here and fall in love with the Valley. Uh, we are going to um, attack the state of Texas because this is the, this is the homeland for, for the best high school basketball in the country from top to bottom. So I think there is a great recruiting base to be, to be found and to be laid. And I think any kid that comes down here is going to fall in love with the place. So that's how I plan on attacking the recruiting. Hi, Coach. Kira Grogan from Channel 4, another local station here. Um, these last few months have been a whirlwind at, at best, really, and these guys sitting in front of you have really been through it. Joining now so many other great faculty members and coaches at UTRGV. I know the X's and O's are important and what this program can do, but what are you most excited about in now being the leader of this basketball program? I'm excited about the community. I'm excited about um, the growth of this school. I'm excited about all of the, the potential this place has. It's, it's got great potential, unbelievable potential. It's got a chance to, in the next five to 10 years, take that leap to where we, we do become a nationally known brand. That's what excites me about this. Um, you know, I, I would lie to you, I, I love looking at palm trees. So every day I walk outside and I look at that palm tree, I'm thankful to be where I'm at. You know, I, I have been making a joke that, um, you know, uh, living in, in cold weather is a choice. Right now I choose not to. I want to live where it's nice and warm and, and I can enjoy my days. Um, but no matter what, you play basketball indoors. And uh, we're going we're gonna to work our tails off in here to become a better basketball team. But I, I, I'm just, I just love where the university is going, the, the growth of the school in five years to get over 30,000 students and, that, and, and going up 11% during a, 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 a worldwide pandemic where the rest of, of the universities are decreasing. This university is increasing. And with the medical school and, and, and all those other resources that are coming in here, why not be here? This is this is a uh, this is this place is getting ready to boom. So that's what excites me. Good morning, Coach. My name is Ray Silva from South Texas Border Sports. I just wanted to ask you, what challenges made you take this job, 
at, at this current point? What challenges? Yes. Uh, you know, every job has its challenges. Whether you know, um, you know, my last school I was at, or all ch all schools has its challenge. Um, right now, I'm sure we'll have a challenge here. Uh, we're going to be challenged to, you know, put a good product on the floor. We're going to be challenged to, you know, get fans in the stands. We're going to be challenged. There's there's a lot of challenges. Right now, I'm in the honeymoon stage, so we'll worry about those challenges when we get to those. Uh, but now I'm just I'm just excited to be here. So we'll attack those challenges as they come. I'm sure there will be some. That there always is, and and uh, ready to go full steam ahead to, to to get moving forward. And one last one for me. Uh, besides uh, coming back here to the state of Texas, how much has it changed for you from a recruiting standpoint? Uh, since you left Odessa, now you come back almost two decades later. What's changed? Well, here's what I will say. Um, I first came down into the Valley. There was a point guard in 2006 at Westlaco High School um, that, that, I, that was a stud. And I got to come down here a couple, four or five times to see him play. And, and I fell in love with this place uh, 15 years ago. Uh, but the state of Texas it's the best high school basketball in, 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 in the entire country. Um, it, just look at, let's look at every, all the rosters. Across the country, you see um, oodles and oodles of kids from the state of Texas on, on 357 Division I uh, programs rosters. A lot of the leading scorers in the country come from the state of Texas. And that's not even the kids who play for the, the top-tier AAU programs. The, the, the coaching is great in the state. Uh, the depth of, of the players in the state is great. So um, basketball, since I left Odessa, has just kept getting better in the state. It, this is the only state where in high school, in, in the PE class, you can have a basketball class. I think that is something that every other state in the United States has missed out on um, and it, with skill development stuff. So uh, I, I'm, I'm excited to have a roster full of Texas kids. Good morning, Coach Figs. My name is Hector Thames from KVAQ TV. My question for you is, when will be the first game you will be coaching? What will be the first game I'll be coaching? Well, I don't know that yet because we haven't really pieced together a, a schedule. Uh, but I'm hoping the first game I coach is right here in this building in front of a full crowd. And um, what, whoever we play, um, hopefully by midway through the first half, I can sit right there and relax and, and, and not have a stroke, and we get, we get our first win here as a Vaquero. So uh, hopefully we'd like to have a home game to start um, off the air here. But uh, if it doesn't happen that way, it doesn't happen. But that's my goal is to play our first home game of the season here. Outside, uh, one more question. Outside of that, what is your first goal for the team? Uh, my first goal to the, for our team is, is you know, getting to bond together uh, greater than ever before. You know, the, the, word, the word family is used a lot in locker rooms. You know, one, two, three, family. One, two, three, family. Everybody says that. And I, and I look at the, these young men out here, and I'm going to challenge them to ask the question. If you're truly family, how much do you know about your teammate that sits to the left and to the right of you? You know, do you know who their family members are? Can you name their brothers and sisters? You know, what tragedy or what, what highlight or hope or heroes do they have in life? Once you learn those things about one another, you'll learn how to respect and you'll be more apt to fight for one another. And when you fight for one another and you're loyal to one another and you trust one another, then you get that thing called love. And when you get that thing called love, then you can truly put your hand up and go one, two, three, family, because you know the guy to the left and right of you knows you inside and out and will always have your back. So that's my biggest thing is to help these guys learn how to, to be more unified than ever before. Good morning, Coach. Uh, my name is Luis Rubio from Vaquero Radio, and, and first of all, congratulations on being a part of the Vaquero family. But, uh, I know the last couple of days must have been a whirlwind with everything going on, but have you had a, an opportunity or a time to, to talk to some of the members of uh, you know, the team? 
Yeah, we, we, you know, this has been hectic. Uh, you know, there's not enough hours in the day. I've, I've been able to, to, to communicate uh, on phone with some of the guys. Obviously, I've hit everybody individually with text messages and, and, and group text, and that's the way social media is today. But, you know, my thing is I'm a face-to-face -face guy, and I wanted to get here first so I can sit down and look at each of the guys individually face-to-face -face and, and, and see what their hopes, dreams and, and what they want to get accomplished. Um, that's, that's to me, the, the biggest thing. All the talking on the phone and the texting and all, that's great. But when you get to do the one-on-one -on -one piece and get to finally find out what each of these guys want. You know, I'm, I'm all about fulfilling guys' dreams. I'm not a dream crusher. I want to fulfill their dreams. So if all the guys come in and let's say, hey, I want to be a, I want to be a professional uh, basketball player. All right, my job isn't to say, no, that's not, we, we need to look at something different. No. My job is to help them figure out how we're going to achieve that goal. And what is it going to take? And we, we figure that out. And I hold them to that standard every day because that came out of their mouth. I want to play professional basketball. Well, what level? Whatever. Only God knows that, 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 those things. But when they say that, now I, have, I know what they want to do. So each and every day, when one of the guys aren't performing to that standard, I can remind him, hey, man, you sat in my office and you told me, I want to be a pro. I want to do this. I want to do that. So um, those are the things we'll talk about, and, 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 and we'll try to accomplish all those goals. Okay, questions for Chase? Anything else? Cool. Thanks, everybody. All right, once again, thank you all for being here today. Um, obviously, we had to reduce the size of the crowd, but I do appreciate our colleagues being here, our fellow coaches, of course, the student athletes. Uh, Rick, you snuck in on me. We've got our executive vice president for finance and administration, Rick Anderson. I uh, appreciate you being here. Again, an exciting day uh, for our athletics department, a very exciting day for our men's basketball program, a statement higher. And we're fired up to have Coach Fig and family here in the Rio Grande Valley. So thank you all again for being here. V's up. Good.